No option is taken off the table, including the use of force, if necessary. Ekoastia, Bola Ahmed, Tinubu, Nigeria's president. Niger Republic, don't name 21 member government, including military and civilians. So I don't know what to call this kind of government. What about military civilian government? Uh -huh. Now these same people now, now the Ecowas chair will be Bola Ahmed Tinubu. They talk say no option is taken off the table, including the use of force if necessary. So by fire, by force, you must restore Niger Republic to democracy. Even when they say, eh -eh, we are okay with melee, melee, uh, melee civilian, uh, melee, melee civilian government, uh, because the twenty-one member government, Nana, military and the uh, civilians join together. <laughs> They don't also want ECOWAS. That is Niger. They don't tell ECOWAS. Eh? If we not try we do not want to do any military invasion inside our country. Or they have me. Uh -huh. Say, they go first kill Mohamed Bazoum. She not their president. Eh, Bazoum, President Bazoum. When are them now? They hold him hostage. They, they hold him as prisoner. Based on say, he don't turn prisoner of the state. Eh, say, you know, do it. Say if ECOWAS try anything, say they want to military invasion, they go first by Bazoum. Keep on one side. <laughs> oh, this one not they're interested in. Then finally, standby force. And ECOWAS don't keep standby force to do it. Invade Niger Republic. They don't stand standby. What they are now waiting for is on your mask, get set, pium, mm. They go enter Niger Republic. So we call them standby force. They are waiting for the whistle. They don't enter. Mm -hmm. Now, to make you understand everything where I don't cap now, because what did I give you now? Nah, 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 the headlines. To make you understand everything where I don't talk, I go play you video. You, you hear me, but eh? watch that video to the end. Eh? Help me watch this video. But first, West African bloc ECOWAS has ordered that a standby force be deployed for possible use against coup leaders who deposed the Niger Nigerian president, Mohamed Bazoum, two weeks ago. The activation of the force followed an emergency summit in the Nigerian, Nigerian capital on Thursday. Heads of state from across the continent were in Abuja to consider their next moves after the Nigerian junta defied an August 6th deadline to stand down. The bloc said that it's willing to go as, as far as it deems necessary to restore democracy to Niger. No option is taken off the table, including the use of force as a last resort. Well, despite this, the junta nevertheless appears increasingly entrenched. And just hours before the summit, it named a new government of 21 ministers. They've also reportedly ratcheted up the stakes by saying that they would kill Bazoum if ECOWAS attempted any military intervention. The ECOWAS uh, leaders said that they wanted the backbone of their strategy to still be diplomacy, that they wanted to try and keep going down that path, even though so far attempts at dialogue have been unfruitful. In fact, just uh, a few days ago, uh, an ECOWAS uh, UN and AU delegation was denied permission to fly to to Niger and a previous delegation only got as far as Niamey Airport. So it does seem that the ECOWAS wants to keep that on the table as well and pursue the diplomatic route. Um, but meanwhile, you have had the junta in Niger digging in. They have named a 21 member government involving civilians and members uh, of their military there. So trying to signal the, to their population at least that they are in this for the long term and trying to make themselves more difficult to dislodge. So it's 
unclear how exactly the dialogue could continue at this stage. There has been an emir from the northern Nigerian state of Kano who has been received uh, by General Chani, the, the coup leader in Niger. We don't know what came out of those talks, but at least some kind of dialogue there, although not an official ECOWAS delegation, that has been taking place at some level at least. Catherine Norris Trent there for us in Abuja. Now, Nigeria's president is the current chairman of ECOWAS, and the stepping up of the threat of force just across the border has many worried in the country. <laughs> So to the people you're saying, I am exploring our options, including force. Uh, the Czech Republic is not bigger than us. They are not. They cannot be uh, stronger than ECOWAS. So we are exploring our options, including force, to restore democracy inside the government. Now the same government, too, the same Niger government, now went on from the government of the military and the civilian to one member government comprising of the military and the civilian. That is to tell you that military civilians. They are together in that state. And they don't need anybody's interference, including ECOWAS. Uh -huh. But our president, uh, he won't show himself, ECOWAS chair. <laughs> I don't know, they just, they just didn't really know they catch crews. They will not need your help. Leave us alone. You don't want to hear. Because uh, maybe Bazoom now on a person. Uh, you understand? All of them get agreements. Uh, all of them belong, belong to the same curve. So you are, you are, you are being a, a, a brother skipper. Nigeria has a history of using its military to successfully restore democracy in the West African sub-region with little or no opposition at home. The scenario seems to be different this time. Even before any military action takes place to restore democracy in Niger, there are already mixed feelings. The greatest concern is from Northern Nigeria, which shares a border with Niger. The Hausa and Fulani people, who are the majority in Northern Nigeria, are also the majority in Niger. Many people have families across the border and they see any military action as a declaration of war against their people. Many prominent people and groups from northern Nigeria have called on the Nigerian government not to get involved militarily. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the most influential Muslim organization in Nigeria, has also opposed military action. The group has even asked the Nigerian government to lift the economic sanctions it imposed on Niger. Some residents of the seven Nigerian states which border Niger Republic fear that war over there may spill into their land. But some other Nigerians feel as a member of ECOWAS, Nigeria has an obligation to be part of any military action. This is Nigeria's obligation to take military action if decided by ECOWAS. It's even greater now that President Bola Tinubu is the current chairman of the regional body.